thinking about eye presentation, flavor profiles, and what I call layers of flavor, making sure it harmonizes from the first dish to your entree to the dessert. It can become very, very challenging, but can it be done? Absolutely. I've got one just for you, Chief. The nutritional competition is one of the hardest. Uh, and I say hardest because um, it is about healthy cooking, meeting the requirements and the number of calories that can be, be produced for a three course meal. The annual joint culinary training exercises nutritional hot food event challenges chefs to create a three course meal that is nutritionally sound, visually appealing, and flavorful. So we had a seared scallop with shirataki noodles, a spicy ginger sauce, and stir-fried vegetables for our appetizer. For our entree, we had a seared smoky venison loin with butternut squash, puree, shredded Brussels sprouts with a plum sauce. The dessert was a vegan panna cotta with aquafaba, bourbon mango, uh, sorbet, and a ginger snap. Sergeant Joshua Hoyt, an advanced food specialist, has competed twice in the American Culinary Federation's Nutrition Challenge. It's all about adding flavor without adding fat. And, you know, the modern soldier is a fine-tuned machine. They like their nutrients, they like low fat, you know, high flavor. So those are things that we really need to bring back to the dining facility to enhance the meals that we have there. The Fort Drum team won the nutrition category with the most points, but in this heated competition, it's still not enough to earn a gold medal. Bittersweet. Um, I've been aiming for that gold for a few years, and it's a very hard pedestal to hit. Um, I wish I would have got it but it gives me something to try for again.